Hello everyone, this is Idan. Uh, today I want to talk to you guys about the things that I like about Thailand and Thai people. I've been living in Thailand for five years now. I've lived in Bangkok, in Chiang Mai, in all different islands. I have had the city life, the countryside life, the North Thailand, the South Island life. So I think I have this a little bit right to talk about Thailand now. So there are five things that I like most after five years living in Thailand. The first thing is about the Thai people. The top reason why I like one place is mostly always about the people there. Uh, of course, it's about the food, it's about the scenery, the history, the culture as well. But for me, it's always like the top one is mostly about the people. Why I like Thai people so much? I think they're chill, they're talented, they're creative people. I've had people came to me before and said uh, they've been to places like Phuket and they've met like people who would, you know, cheat them uh, for money, scam them. They've had bad stories like that. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, but things like that, they don't really represent like the majority of Thai people. After being living here for five years, I think at least I have um, interacted with more local Thai people more than the people who have traveled here once or twice or who only been to like the most touristy places, right? So I'm not saying like there's not single one bad people in Thailand. I'm just saying statistically, I've met more warm-hearted people here um, than the bad people. I found that most of the Thai people I know that first of all, they're all really um, animal lovers. You can just simply tell like how they treat the street animals here. There's a lot of street dogs and street cats. They're being really well fed, even they don't really belong to anyone, but everyone's feeding them, okay? And they would never really hush them away if they're you know, lying in front of 7-Eleven and trying to get the cool air. Some of them are even allowed to sleep inside of the 7-Eleven. And here in the countryside, um, I would assume that people would treat animals in a more different way, you know, in a more uncivilized way. Like they would probably think chickens or ducks or goats are just, you know, for eating. But I personally see this, um, emotional bond between the villagers and their buffaloes also with their chickens my neighbor who's been helping me at the farm so far she's really treating every animal like her kid she wouldn't want to kill any one of them you know for a meal which is really surprising to me because she was never really educated or um, being taught like she should treat animal like that and Thai people are creative and for this part I've had um, some quite a lot of Thai friends actually they all have so many roles in their life they have so many different interests and hobbies um, some of them they would be barista designer florist artist pottery maker and almost like all of them they know at least how to play one instrument. For them to master one artistic skill or instrument is not even like because they want to want some competition. It's just because they are really having fun with it. And this is also something that I like about Thai people. They know how to have fun. And another thing is uh, their creativity. Their way of being creative is not really um, anything that requires a lot of money or um, people who have to go to some college to uh, be majored in like art degree. I feel like everyone here can be creative and they are being creative. If you ever been to Thailand, if you had pay attention to the street side, you would discover these little things um, people have put out uh, as an art installation um, that belongs to some mechanic shop or some random shop. They just use whatever they have to make them into an artwork. I think art is not really a game of the rich people. Everyone is capable and everyone is allowed to enjoy the pure uh, happiness of creating art. And I think I've seen that in Thailand. Another thing I want to talk about is um, um, the beliefs and values that Thai people hold. This is one of the reasons why I feel so 
free being in this country. It seems like they don't really have too much rules or、mm, restrictions, right? But meanwhile, you feel safe. Like I think this is a really kind of hard balance to make. For countries like Singapore, Japan, you definitely feel safe because it is a very Um, developed country and the whole system and everything is making it safe, but I feel like the sense of safety in Thailand is not really created by the system. It's more like created by the people here. I feel like I've really been spoiled、uh, living here. That I never really take the car key out from my scooter or my car. Leave my shit everywhere. You know, in a cafe, I would leave my iPad, my phone on the table and just go to the toilet.、Um, Things like that happen to me all the time, but in these five years, I've never ever lost any shit. Like I always get it back, and it was never stolen. They have their own principles and their own beliefs.、Uh, just some small story that I personally、um, have、uh, went through before.、Uh, I remember the first year I celebrated Louis Vuitton here. Day before Louis Vuitton, we were saying like we should buy the floating lanterns right now because、um, we assumed that the price would went up a lot on the day of the festival because this is how it works, you know, in our country. But then. <laughs> The second day, we were so surprised to find out that the price is exactly the same as the day before, and this is just like kind of puzzled us because there is clearly much more in demand, and they could easily like charge even like five bar or ten bar more. There will be still a lot of people want to buy them, but they didn't, you know. So this is something like quite made me think. In Chandao, there are、uh, almost every restaurant and cafes they have a day off, or some of them they have two or three day off. Um, or there are restaurants that they would limit it to the、um, to the meals that they sell every day. They would sell like only maybe hundred meals. I feel like this is their way of balancing work and life. And I also personally like this kind of principle a lot. If you want to make money, it's a never-ending game. It's never enough that you can always make more money. I feel like Thai people they know the definition of enough. Everyone have a little benchmark, personal benchmark of what is being enough. I think this is also related to the religion that they have, which is Buddhism. The recent years, I'm also reading a lot of um, um, theories and books and、uh, about Buddhism. I don't really treat it as a religion, but、um, I agree to a lot of sayings it has. I guess this is also one of the reasons I、um, personally enjoy living in Thailand and I get along with Thai people so well. Okay. After talked about so many about Thai people, I want to talk about Thailand as a country. Like why I like living here. I feel like Thailand is quite an international place. Even in the countryside, like my city right now, Chandao, we still have a lot of expats living here.、Um, although the group of the expat community is not as big as Chiang Mai, but we have people from all different countries, like Spain, Netherlands, Belgium. Um, Britain, Japan, Korea. If you go to China or Japan, you would see a big expat community in the big cities, right?、Uh, like Beijing, Shanghai. This is very common. But if you go to a countryside in China, I would doubt how many foreigners you can find over there. So this is something rare that I found Thailand. Like no matter how rural you go, there's always people from other countries、um, have lived there or are running business there. So. You get a sense of international community, not just、um, with the local people, but also you get to interact with people from all over the world. The second thing、um, is about how convenient it is to live in Thailand. Wherever you go, you are always just like within ten minutes drive from a Seven Eleven, probably. Just like our farm, it looks like it's in the middle of nowhere. That it's facing mountains, rice field, but it only takes five minutes for us to get to Seven Eleven, and. Local food market, massage and mechanic, vet clinic, hospital—literally everything that you need. And for a lot of places, the Wi-Fi connection is also pretty good. Oui. <coughs> you can live as luxury as you want or as budget as you want in Thailand. You can get a coffee by the street for twenty baht, or you can go to a really Fancy cafe to order a 150 bar like signature coffee. I enjoy a wide spectrum of life choices. Some days I feel like I want some 
cheap local food and some days I could have a private chef's table, you know, it's all there. It's all accessible. It's all quite affordable to most other people. Okay, that's it for today's video. Although I talked a lot about good things uh, about Thailand and living here, there are downsides as well, as no people or no country is perfect, right? So if you find my sharing is not really objective enough, um, I don't really care because as every sharing is never going to be objective enough for anyone. So I'm just sharing a very subjective opinion about the countries that I'm living in and about the people who's living here. At last, just give you guys a glimpse of the farm right now. It's actually the end of the raining season now. The weather is going to get cooler and drier. So this is going to be the best season to visit Chendao, uh, North Thailand. And soon enough, um, the hiking trail up to the third highest mountain, Chendao Mountain Doi Luan, is going to be open for application starting from November. And October is also gonna be the whole month of art and handcraft month for Chendao. We're going to have workshops like pottery making, matcha making, candle making, color pencil workshop, and I'm personally gonna host Chinese herbs learning and Chinese cooking class as well. So if you want to join us for all these experiences, book our rooms um, through Airbnb link or if you want to know more detail about all this event workshop information, just DM me. All right, see you guys.